My name is Paul Allen. I'm a CG animator and instructor with a background in TV film and games. Today I'm demoing some animation workflow tips with a tool set for Maya called Animbot. There are many options available in Animbot. I'm going to show one of the tool sections that I use on a daily basis. A large part of working on animation involves editing keyframes. There are a lot of ways to edit motion and Animbot has dozens of tools to help optimize your work. There are two main places where Animbot's tools will show up, above the main timeline and also in Maya's graph editor. Each tool has pop-up tips that you can hover over and show little mini tutorials. If you put your cursor over them and just wait for a couple of seconds, you'll get a little pop-up showing uh, just a little walkthrough with some nice uh, animated graphics that will help you understand how to use the tool a little bit better. You can also right click on each one of these sections. Uh, I'm going to focus on this first section. I use these tools quite a bit. So going over that and right clicking over it, you can see all the other sliders that are available. Uh, some of the ones I use a lot are ease in, ease out. I use pull push simplify bait keys. Uh, so I'll, what I'm going to do is just show a few of these tools so you can see how easy it is to use them to manipulate uh, animation information. So we'll start with um, we'll start with this noise wave tool. What I've done with this animation is I'll just hit play on it so you can see it. it's just a, a simple uh, translation animation uh, it accelerates and decelerates, ease out and ease in. Uh, very simple, but it has a keyframe on every frame of the animation. Normally for a simple movement like this, we wouldn't want to have this many keys, but for demonstration purposes, this shows you how easy it is to use Animbot's tools to manipulate denser keyframe data. So we'll stop that animation for a second and go back to the start. And then let's take a look at this. So uh, what uh, we'll do is I'll right click on it and uh, I have it on noise wave. What this is uh, useful for is you have a whole bunch of keys. You can select some keyframes and then you can just get a little bit of noise and you can put as little or as much based on how, how you're controlling the sliders. So just with that, it just adds a little bit of like a stagger to it, like if it was a, like a vibration effect. That may not be what you want. So you can either undo it or you can use some of the other tools like say the ease in, ease in and ease out tool. Let's say that I wanted to t I have this noisy information here and I want to smooth it out, but I don't want to re-keyframe re, uh, everything or move each keyframe individually. What you can do is you can switch to the ease in and ease out tool and then let's say I'll, I'll park it right on the middle and I'm going to select the last half of the keyframes. So I'm just selecting these keyframes and then I'm just sliding the slider and it gives an automatic ease in and ease out based on what you have selected. So it's a really fast way of re-establishing re uh, speed changes uh, when you need it. So when you, if you need to decelerate and you have some dense, dense keyframes, you can just use that and it'll automatically taper everything off like you need it to. And then you can also go from the first half and do the same thing. And I'm just gonna slide it slightly in the other way. And when you're doing this, you can slide it either direction and it'll change the direction that you're easing. You're either easing towards the previous uh, keyframes uh, before uh, the selection or you can, uh, or it'll do it afterwards. So just doing a quick pass like this allows you to just custom tailor what kind of ease in and ease out that you want to get on this, on your, on your animation. So just touch this real quick and then we're back to ease in, ease out. Uh, some of the other functions that, that are in here, uh, you can sm have smooth or rough. So you can take 
let's say we go back and we put a little bit of noise back on back on this and then we want to go in and smooth it out maybe maybe we want this type of noise so we'll select that and then just change change it to smooth and rough and then you can dial out some of that and it'll get back to the original easing that you that you had before and it'll just leave a little bit of that flavor in there so you can have as as much or as little of that just depending on how much you adjust it or if you want to uh, go in and then simplify and bake let's say let's say we smooth this out I'll, I have this bookmark I had it uh, buffer set in the background so I'll just swap it back to what I thought I had it in the background maybe I don't um, let's just do a little quick easing out and do that on the bottom And then let's say, so we got this back, and then let's say we, maybe we want to simplify the keys. Maybe we don't want as many keyframes in here. So you select the keys you want to adjust, and then you can switch it over to simplify bake keys. And you can see how it's interactively, as you're sliding it, it's removing keyframes out, but it's still trying to maintain the shape of the original curve. So you can pull down uh, some of the complexity out of dense keyframe information and still leave most of the uh, the motion that you want so you can customize it to your taste. Anabot is a powerful tool set that has a lot of ways to optimize and speed up your productivity. You don't need to know how to use everything to start with. Just focus on a few options at a time until they become part of your workflow.